Hey Wakers, I'm Tyler Crumpton. I was accepted into the Gemma Hats Off uh, Road Test Competition from uh, Adafruit and Newark Element 14. And today I just wanted to talk a bit about what I'm going to be building for this competition and some of the parts that uh, they sent me to, to help complete the project. Um, the, the first part I have is the Adafruit Gemma. It's a tiny uh, Arduino based microcontroller. It's got USB programming. Um, and the interesting part is that it is designed to be sewn into clothing. Um, you can use conductive thread that they also sent, sent a spool of conductive thread. Uh, this is stainless steel. Um, what you do is you, you wrap it around these, these nice big open pads and form circuits out of that instead of using wire and soldering or breadboard or any other method of connecting the circuit up. Um, so it's, it has three I.O. pins, um, power input, ground, uh, it's got a battery connector on the back, um, which I'll definitely be using. Um, so, so the idea is to use the Gemma plus a couple other components, sensors, uh, battery, the thread, to build a hat. And my hat is going to be uh, the case hat from Sherlock Holmes. The iconic, you know, brim on the back and on the front, uh, earmuffs. But my take on that is it's going to have a way to detect people behind you, people or things. And what's that, that's going to do is going to allow the user of the, the hat to know, you know, is someone behind me, is someone trying to sneak up on me? It gives you that extra sensory perspective that you don't get otherwise. Um, just like Sherlock Holmes always noticed things that not everyone else noticed, this kind of gives you the ability to notice things that people might not otherwise see. Um, the, the big part of that is this guy right here. This is uh, HCSRO4 ultrasonic ping sensor. Uh, it's got these two transducers. Um, one it sends out an echo of sound and the other one picks it up and it measures that time that it takes to get back and use that to, de to determine how long or how far away an object or person is from from the sensor. Um, they're used a lot on robotics. Um, I've seen people use them uh, for, for extra sensory uh, perception on on your arms and hands that you can tell you know how far something is from your hand. Um, so what I'll be using is I'll have this on the back of the hat underneath the brim to detect people or things behind me. Um, there, I'll, I'll go into that more in a different different video on how it works and how I'm going to use it. Um, there's some tricky things I'm going to have to do to make it work with the Gemma um, and hopefully that won't be too bad. One of the other parts they sent is this little thing right here. It's a Flora Neopixel. Neopixel. Um, Adafruit uh, has really, really grabbed on to these WS2812 surface mount LEDs. Uh, they are uh, RGB LEDs, full color, and they are individually addressable and they only require one data input for an entire string of these LEDs. So you might not be able to tell, but inside Inside the LED package itself, there's a, there's a controller that controls the brightness of each color, red, green, and blue, um, and handles all the data input and output. The way these work is you send one uh, color into the first LED, and then it pushes that into the next LED, which pushes that into the next LED, and so on, until you've pushed all the data to your LEDs, and then you tell them all to light up. Um, again, I'll have another video that will go into detail a little bit more how that works. I have four of these and I'm going to use those on the front of the brim hanging down so that when I'm when someone's behind me it'll flash a pattern, it'll you know tell me how close someone is to me um, by changing the colors and the, the frequency of the pattern. Um, so, so that'll be on the, the front of the brim. I also have piezo uh, sensor or uh, speaker rather, buzzer. Um, it's going to be kind of like the LEDs. It's just another another form of output uh, from when someone did, is behind me. Um, what it'll do is it'll buzz um, and let me know that there is something being picked up by the ultrasonic sensor. Um, I'll be able to set set when 
that buzzes, if it buzzes when it sees anything or with it, whether it's within a certain distance, um, I'll, I'll be able to change that with it how I want to. This whole thing is going to be powered by um, a battery. So this is a 500 milliamp, uh, seven, uh, 3.7 volt uh, LiPo battery, lithium polymer battery. Uh, the connector it has, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but the connector goes right into the back of the Gemma. So it's it's got this the standard connector, plugs in, it'll power it. I can also plug it into a charger they sent um, to charge the battery. It's uh, this little charger, Adafruit LiPo lithium ion lithium polymer charger. Charges over USB. USB contacts are right on the, the PCB. That's that's real common now. Um, just plugs into a USB port on a computer or into like a iPhone phone charger. Uh, charge the battery up. And then I'm also going to be using this this tactile on off switch, very very clicky, um, to disconnect the power to the Gemma when it's not in use because you don't want it to run down the batteries if you're not using if it's just sitting on a shelf. Um, the LEDs can draw a lot of power and and they will run down the battery very quickly. Um, so that's that's all I have for today. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, any ideas, thoughts, um, and I will see y'all again soon. Thanks.